Take a pen and paper and write it down. The SMS era is about to end, except for basic feature phones. I said basic because even feature phones have WhatsApp bit right into them. WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Direct and apps like it have become a part of our life. We can not only send messages, we can share photos and videos, audio messages, etc. And SMSs are just messages. But that's gonna change as Google introduced RCS to Google Messages and Google calls it the chat features. Apparently, rich communication services uses data connection instead of cellular networks as used by SMS and MMS to send messages. Okay, so why do you have to enable chat features? What's the use? The first main thing is you don't have the 160 character limit. You can type a message as long as you want. In normal messages, there is a character limit. But yeah, modern smartphones considers one long message as multiple messages. See here. If I type a message longer than the limit, the message is one long piece of text, but it considers it as different messages. And then it can be able to show real time updates whether that person has seen the message or if he is typing stuff like that. Apple has iMessage, which is similar to what Google is offering now. Okay, to turn on this feature, go to settings, chat features and turn it on. It may take a while to connect. And you can see the chat message for the person who also have enabled chat features. For the rest, it shows text message. What this means is if you want to send a message to your friend who hasn't enabled chat features, it will be sent as a normal message. But if he has enabled it, it will be sent as a chat message. Then with the chat features enabled, you can share photos and videos, audio messages, which is sent like a chat. But with other people, if you want to send any media except text, it is considered as an MMS and you will be charged for that. Hey guys, editor Chidich here. There's a quick update. As I was editing the video, I just realized that Google Messages also has the feature which Instagram Direct has, where you can react to messages with emojis by long pressing it. Okay, back to the video now. WhatsApp and other apps like it have end-to-end -end encryption, which means whatever the message sent will be in between the sender and the recipient. Google Messages didn't have this, but in the latest beta version, Google has enabled it. Soon, it will be available to the public version also. So at the end of the day, the question is, will this become an alternative for WhatsApp? No, not yet. Because WhatsApp has become an integral part of our life and everybody knows about it. Well, almost. And Google Messages is not known by most of the people. As every smartphone manufacturer has their own version of messages. And other OEMs messaging apps like Samsung Messages also support chat features. But what makes Google Messages stand out is the integration of Google Assistant into the app, Smart Reply and many other features. Well, that's the new RCS feature. Go ahead and try it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.